Good afternoon, I'm Daniel Pizarro with a look at your local news. An investigation into the Healy PCYC school care program into damning claims has found the organisation breached the Education and Care Services National Regulations. The investigation was launched after parents voiced concerns that staff were poorly resourced and no support or strategies in place. Jacinda Blakey said her child was given her medication twice in a day after one educator didn't realise the child had already received her dose. She also claims her child's medication was put in another child's storage box and staff had earlier refused to give it back to Jacinda for the long weekend. Other claims include children harming each other and even assaulting staff members. BCYC Heatley has lost its school care contract, but the Education Department says the tender process was unrelated to the investigation. North Queensland sugarcane farmers are struggling to control the rats feasting on the products in the Herbert River region. It says there is no state government funded plan to protect the sugarcane farms. The damage mitigation permits have been issued to the sugarcane sector bodies, which enables the farmers to use rat bait without the need for individual applications. And as the youth crime crisis continues, Pauline Hansen's One Nation Party wants stamp duty on insurance premiums to be scrapped in Queensland. It comes as the party plans to put forward a candidate for all 93 electorates, including North Queensland electorates, in next year's state election. Chief of Staff James Ashby says it would have the average household save the average household around $300 per year on the homes and contents insurance. Checking this afternoon's weather forecast, a top of 28 degrees in Townsville, part of cloudy and air reaching 27 degrees, and a shower too is expected in Ingham. That's the news. I'll have more for you again next hour.